Tom, let me start with the question on the EBITDA and the and the outlook that you downgraded recently due to restructuring costs. Now this uh, EBITDA comes in lower than the market was looking for. Is it due to restructuring, and how is that restructuring going now? Okay, no, just to um, make that clear, it was not uh, on the basis of restructuring. So our restructuring is making good progress. Um, I think if you read the numbers, you see that orders are stabilizing, our programs are working, so SG&A reduction, cash flow is improving, we've refinanced the credit lines, we've initiated the share buyback. So all those things are on track. The, uh, the bottom line performance is actually due to a 53 million provision that we took for certain legacy projects uh, out of the US. And these legacy projects are projects that are either in litigation, so they're in the courts, and we're being very prudent in terms of the expected outcome. And uh, there is one major project which is ongoing in the US where we don't like performance, we don't like the risk profile, and again, they were being prudent, hence the, um, hence the 53 million provision. But it's not coming from additional restructuring charges. You mentioned uh, the U.S. I mean, you are the biggest machine service provider in the industry, um, so you're very active internationally, and we've seen some incredible strength in the euro this year. I mean, it's up more than 12 percent against the dollar year to date. How is that affecting your business? Um, I mean, for us, we are euro denominated, so of course, you know, a stronger dollar means more euros at the end of the day. But uh, having said that, I would say we are balanced. Uh, we do generate a lot of business in the Middle East. Uh, we have businesses in South Africa. So our portfolio is uh, relatively well balanced. But I, I do see that the, the business sentiment, despite the lower dollar in the US, is probably just a little bit more boyish than the ones we're seeing in Europe. Um, good morning, Guy Johnson in London. Can I just come back to the restructuring? Um, you, you, you're getting rid of businesses, you're reshaping the business. Is that on track? Are you currently kind of where you would expect to be in some, in terms of some of those disposals? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, when we unveiled the strategy in February, we targeted uh, 13 companies that we wanted to dispose of. These were uh, dilutive companies, so companies that were you know, having a, a negative effect on our bottom line. Of those 13, uh, five were actually sold, and we now have a sixth one that was um, sold or closed after the end of the quarter. So we're making very good progress. So, yeah, okay. So you've got three, I'm just trying to do the math. So sort of where, where's the rest of the, that process underway? And sort of where is the rest of that process that is underway? Well, I think, uh, you know, uh, again, just to underline, it, it is a big ship that we're trying to turn. It's a fragmented company. And, you know, the, the plan that we put out there in February was actually a three-year plan, um, three-, four-year plan in three very distinct phases. Uh, we are making good progress on all fronts. And uh, part of that is, as you pointed out correctly, selling off these loss-making entities. <laughs> so of the 13, six are done, so we have seven to go. Um, Mr. Blades, let me just quickly ask you about the German elections. I don't want you to pick a favorite, obviously, um, but we're six weeks away and we still don't have really a clear idea of what kind of coalition that we're going to see here. What are you looking for uh, from the election and, and the next government? What are, what, are, what are the top points that you need this government to tackle? I think... Uh you know, in a nutshell, it would be status quo. I mean, the, the government is, is doing relatively well, I would say. Uh, we don't need any large upsets or changes. Uh, where I would like to see some more activity is in planning uh, nuclear decommissioning, which has been on the uh, agenda for a long time, but little or no action as to yet. And I think that is a topic that will come back to bite us if we don't uh, take the bull by the horns a little bit sooner.